I don't know where we go wrong sometimes. We create these horrible situations, and then we blame ourselves for them. And we end up just carrying around our guilt and negativity, and we don't even realize what's going on. Instead, we think about how terrible we were, and we beat ourselves up over it. And we have to stop doing that. Because if we keep beating ourselves up, we're not going to get anywhere, we're not going to do anything productive. Trauma is defined as any event or circumstance that causes severe physical or emotional pain. Trauma is often experienced by victims of abuse, neglect, natural disasters, war, accidents, and violence. When we experience trauma, our bodies react as if we were experiencing actual physical injury. We may feel shock, fear, anxiety, anger, guilt, shame, sadness, self-hatred, hopelessness, loneliness, helplessness, and even numbness. The emotional effects of trauma can last for years, sometimes a lifetime. A person who experiences trauma may develop symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD. PTSD is characterized by recurring memories of the traumatic events, flashbacks, nightmares, excessive feelings of fear, hypervigilance, avoidance behaviors, feeling emotionally distant, isolation, irritability, difficulty concentrating, sleep problems, and slash or depression. Traumatic events can happen to anyone at any age. In fact, some people have been exposed to traumatic events before they were born. There is no way to prevent these events from happening, however, you can help yourself heal from them. You can learn to cope with stressful situations and reduce your chances of developing PTSD. So in this video, we talk about how to destroy trauma and destroy negative thoughts. So before going deeper into the video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for more videos. So let's get started. According to scientists, the loop of negative thinking that we all occasionally engage in has a neurological cause. When the amygdala, the area of the brain thought to be important in emotions, is aroused, it stays in that state for a considerable amount of time. In parallel, a memory of the incident is imprinted in the brain. The recollection will be more vivid in emotionally charged circumstances. Over time, certain emotions are linked to particular memories. For instance, experiencing anxiety may rekindle the memory of getting dismissed from a job in the past, perpetuating the experience. This can continue too long, numb as flooding, and every negative event you've experienced comes to mind suddenly and overwhelmingly. The process probably evolved to help us survive and prepare us for the worst as negative emotions ring alarm bells demanding attention and alerting us that something's wrong. Meanwhile, the body produces fight-or-flight hormones and we feel tense. How Negative Thoughts Develop Our predisposition to think negatively more frequently than other people may have its roots in our childhood. Parenting philosophies differ greatly. Some parents try to protect their children by outlining all the potential risks of a circumstance. This may be effective, but as a result, the youngster may grow up anxious, anticipating the worst in every circumstance, and coming to have a pessimistic view of the world. The acquisition of a negative mental framework might also be influenced by parents' harsh criticism. Perhaps you have a big list of shoulds and musts from your upbringing, making relaxation challenging. When life is reduced to a list of tasks, it might be challenging to change perspective. So let's overview habits you have to adapt to destroy negative thoughts. Number one, meditation. Meditation helps you calm down, get rid of negative thoughts, and create positive ones. If you have been thinking about something that bothers you, do some deep breathing and try meditating. You don't even need to close your eyes, just look at things around you. Make sure you are not distracted while doing meditation. Focus only on what is happening right now. Number two, mindfulness. Mindfulness is similar to meditation, except instead of focusing on yourself, you focus on what's going on around you. Observe without being judgmental. 
Try using mindfulness before bedtime if you struggle with anxiety. Before you go to sleep, take a few moments to sit quietly and observe how you feel. Do this several times throughout the day. Number three, self-hypnosis. Hypnosis techniques can really help remove negative emotions that may cause you to think bad thoughts. Use visualization techniques to make your self-belief stronger. When people are under hypnosis, they tend to believe everything that their hypnotist tells them. Remember, you are making a decision to stop your negative thoughts. Number four, change your mindset. The first step is changing your mindset about what you believe is possible. If you believe you have no control over your mind, then you are limiting yourself in thinking you can ever achieve anything. You should start seeing how much power you really do have over your own thoughts. When you change your mindset, you can begin to take action towards achieving your goals. Number five, get inspired. When you feel unmotivated, inspired people around you can give you the push you need to get started. Surround yourself with positive friends who inspire you and help you stay motivated. Even if they don't have the same goal as you, just being near them can bring out the best in you. Number six, do something every day. If you want to accomplish something great, you need to make sure you're doing something every day. If you don't do anything each day, you won't have any progress toward your dreams. Set aside time in the morning and evening to do things that will move you closer to your dream. Number seven, have fun. Laughter is one of the best medicines known to man. Laughter can lift you up and put you in a happy mood, making you more likely to keep moving forward. Find ways to laugh often, even at little things. Be silly. Laughing releases endorphins and helps reduce pain and anxiety. Number eight, keep moving forward. Don't get stuck in a rut. Don't let fear paralyze you. Keep going forward. Failure is inevitable, but it doesn't mean that you failed. The only real failure is giving up on your dreams. Keep going until you succeed. Number nine, recognize that you have a choice. Your mind is always active. It's constantly making decisions about what to pay attention to, how much attention to give each thing, and whether or not you should act on those things. So if you're having trouble getting rid of these bad habits, stop focusing on them. Instead, focus on something else. Think about how awesome you are, how beautiful your future will be, and how much you want to achieve it. That way, the negativity won't take over like it always does. Number 10, start a gratitude journal. Write down three things you are grateful for each day. We tend to be thankful for the small things, like food, shelter, etc. But if you really look at it, all of those things came from somewhere. Someone created them. Someone gave them to you. Someone is giving you the air to breathe right now. Every time you say thank you, acknowledge that someone has been gracious enough to allow you to live. And when you find yourself feeling stressed or anxious, read the list aloud. Remind yourself that you have everything you need and that you are blessed beyond measure. Number 11. Avoid thought stopping. Thought stopping is the opposite of mindfulness. It is the act of being on the lookout for negative thoughts and insisting that they be eliminated. The problem with thought stopping is that the more you try to stop your negative thoughts, the more they will surface. This is known as thought rebounding. Mindfulness is preferable because it gives less weight to your thoughts and reduces the impact they have on you. Experts believe that the thought rebounding that takes place after trying to stop negative thoughts is much more damaging six instead. Psychologists generally recommend finding ways to deal with the negative thoughts more directly. So that's it for today's video. I hope you like this video. If you really then do not forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for more videos. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.